Welcome, my friends. Thank you for joining me on this healing guided meditation for all of you scarred programmers out there. I'm feeling a lot of wonderful programming energy from all of you, but I'm also feeling a lot of pain, a lot of trauma, a lot of suffering, some of which you may not have processed and some of which you may not be aware of. As a programmer, you swim in a sea of error messages. They can be frustrating and stressful. Sometimes they make you feel angry, scared, or just like you're not good enough. It's important to remember that these errors and warnings are a natural part of the programming process. They do not define your worth as a programmer. So let's begin by finding a comfortable position. You can either sit down or lie down, whichever is more comfortable to you. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Feel your body relaxing with each and every breath. Now visualize yourself having a joyful programming experience, ideas flowing from your brain to your keys, creating data structures, callback functions, and doing things with pointers that would make your friends sit up and pay attention if only they understood. This is why you do this. In this moment, everything is right with the universe. You have peace. Now I want you to visualize an error appearing on the screen. It could be a seg fault, a type mismatch, or even one of those big nasty memory dumps that come when you corrupt the heap. Take a moment to notice your feelings, how your heart rate increases. Notice any tension that builds up in your hands, shoulders, and jaw. Notice these changes and the emotions that cause them. But remember that you are the one with root access to your emotions, and you will be able to use your internal kill system call to pause, terminate, and even kill these feelings. You just need to identify their process IDs. So as you breathe slowly, notice and recognize your emotional process IDs as they move through your mind and body. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, imagine that the error message is changing shape, initially a bit blurry, but eventually transforming from a message into lessons. Small packets of sage advice, initially obscure, but becoming clearer as you ponder the words of the error message. Remember to free your heat blocks, but only once, please. Initialize your variables before using them. Use only bytes you allocated. For some reason, memcopy is defined in string.h, so include it. Most copy functions take the destination first, and that's just weird. Ambersands and asterisks are not like salt. Randomly sprinkling them in your code will not make it better. Inhale again, and as you exhale, see these lessons fusing with your program, healing its wounds, making it stronger, or at least more correct. Your program is becoming something new, something glorious, and the error messages have disappeared from the screen. The error has been resolved and the program is now running smoothly. Now focus on your breath. Inhale deeply, and as you exhale, let go of any negative thoughts or feelings that you're still holding on to, because your program is now healed. You don't need to be angry about that confusing documentation anymore. Let it go. Kill-9. Imagine that each exhale is like a wave washing away any stress or frustration. As you continue to breathe deeply, imagine your program and your mind surrounded by a warm, soothing light. This light is a symbol of peace and relaxation. Let it wash over you like a cascade of successfully passing unit tests, filling you with calm and digital serenity. Visualize yourself programming with ease and confidence. See yourself overcoming any challenges or errors that may come your way and celebrating your successes. Know that it's okay to make mistakes. You are going to dereference null again. You are going to overflow another buffer you are going to try to assign mismatching types. Visualize an endless parade of error messages extending into your future. They are not your enemies. Welcome them as your allies, your teachers, your friends. They are coming to help you grow and learn. Remember that you are a skilled and talented programmer and that you have the ability to create amazing things. Take a moment to appreciate yourself for all the hard work and effort that you put into your programming projects. You are a valuable member of the programming community, and your contributions are important. As we come to the end of this meditation, take one last deep breath. Breathe in and exhale slowly. Know that you can return to this meditation whenever you need to find calm and relaxation. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes, feeling refreshed and energized. Know that you can overcome any challenge that comes your way. 
and that you are a successful and capable programmer. Now get back to work.